Hey, what is up guys? My name is Daniel and today I'm going to be doing a PC build, or a gaming PC build actually, for $750. Um, it's a very good price range for building a PC. You'll get very good performance, probably the best performance you, uh, for the money that you'll get. You won't be underspending, you won't be overspending. This will be a perfect mix. Um, starting off with the case, you're getting a Cooler Master Half 912 or 912 which is a mid tower ATX case it's a very good case um, it is partially made of plastic but then again so are a hell of a lot of cases so this will do you well uh, for the power supply you're getting a CX 600 which is a 600 watt power supply um, which will give you some overhead for this build don't know exactly how much I haven't used the uh, wattage converter and all that on Newegg uh, on their website but nonetheless it is a very good power supply and it will give you a little bit of overhead which is what you want so you get the maximum efficiency um, and then for the motherboard you get an ASRock Z87 LGA 1150 um, motherboard which is ATX it has HDMI 6 gigabit per second SATA uh, USB 3.0 everything we've come to expect you know um, so it's a very good motherboard uh, ASRock is basically just Asus, but it's a entry level version of Asus, but nonetheless, um, very good motherboard. For the CPU, we have, I went with a um, i5-4570, which is a Haswell CPU clocked at 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, it's a quad core, and since it's not the K version, you won't be able to overclock it. Actually, I don't know if you can. Um, you might be able to, but I wouldn't really recommend it if it's not a K CPU. So nonetheless, this will give you great performance in gaming and whatever else you may doing. You, you may doing? Sure. <laughs> you may be doing. Um, yep. Moving on. For the CPU cooler, we have the Corsair Hydro Series H80i, which is a very good um, standalone liquid cooling for your CPU. Um, very good ratings. Obviously, it has one single radiator, uh, you know, one single fan, but nonetheless, it will cool your CPU very well. Still, I wouldn't recommend uh, overclocking even with this good uh, water cooling setup. Um, for the hard drive, I went with a Western Digital Black or Caviar Black, one terabyte, 7200 RPM, 64 megabyte cache. Uh, 6 gigabit per second, 3.5 inch um, hard drive. Especially with the 64 megabytes of cache, you'll get very good performance uh, loading in games and things like that, or just loading in textures, but that'll be based more on RAM. Um, so yeah. That'll be very fast for loading into things. And for the graphics card, I went with a MSI uh, GTX 760. It's got two gigabytes of DDR5 RAM or GDDR5 RAM. Sorry, um, not much more you could say. As of the time of making this video, you get Batman Arkham Origins with it, um, which is nice. But you know, most of the time they'll have deals like that. And for the last thing, I got uh, eight gigabytes, um, two times two four, uh, two sticks of four gigabytes, guys. And it's Corsair Vengeance, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 1600 megahertz, very good RAM. They have heat spreaders and everything, but that's more of just a marketing thing. They don't really mean all that much unless you're overclocking the RAM, but who the hell does that? Alright. But, um, yeah, this will be a very, very good PC build. It'll be able to max out um, most current gen games and a lot of next gen games. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, goodbye.